and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun video for you guys. We are going to be doing the all about polish, the all about polish tag or the all about nail polish tag. Sorry, I'm taking off my socks because I'm super hot right now. Be gone! We are doing the all about polish tag, I think that's what it's called, that has been circulating around the YouTube nail polish community. Once again, I am late to the party on this tag. I'm probably like the last person to do it, but here it is. These are 10 questions all about nail polish. So let's just jump in there and get started. Question number one, what is your favorite nail polish finish? My favorite nail polish finish has got to be matte. Some of my favorite matte nail polishes are, but aren't limited to, Sally Hansen Velvet Texture Collection. Now this I consider matte because it has a matte finish to it, but it is kind of like a velvety soft matte. Still super, super nice. The great thing that I love about the matte finish is that if you find a matte top coat, you can make any polish a matte finish, which is what I absolutely adore. I love making anything and everything matte. Some of my favorite matte toppers are the Big Matte Top Coat from Sally Hansen and the Spa Ritual Mattified. I love a matte finish. Question number two is what is your favorite ugly pretty shade? Unfortunately I don't buy polish if I don't like the color so I actually don't have a lot of like ugly shades. The only color that I have that slightly captures this idea of an ugly pretty color is a Sugar Shimmer from Sally Hansen. This is mint tint and it's about as close as I would get to owning an ugly shade in my collection. Kind of muted mint olive green really not my favorite shade of green, but it has a fantastic texture to it, so that's the only reason I keep it in my collection, even though I consider this kind of an ugly color because it's a, a muted mint. Yeah, no thank you. Question number three is which polish in your collection is the most sentimental to you? That would be these two polishes from Wet n Wild. These are the Lavender Cream from the Wild Shine line and Red red. I purchased these I believe my freshman or sophomore year of college. I stayed at home my freshman year but my freshman year into sophomore year my dad finished his PhD. They moved to Colorado leaving me in my hometown. I bought these polishes I believe the first couple of weeks they were gone because I was really really sad and kind of upset and really just lonely that my family had left and so I turned to nail polish and I guess you could say these were the beginnings of that big nail polish collection you see behind me they mean the world to me. Question number four is if you could go back in time and buy any collection what would it be? I would go back in time to 2012 and buy the entire Hunger Games collection. I really enjoy the Hunger Games, I really love the movies, I love the books even more and so this was actually the first China Glaze I've ever purchased. This is a Stone Cold from the Hunger Games collection. I really really love this polish and I really want the rest of the collection just because this was one of my first china glazes that I've ever purchased so I'd kind of like the rest of the set to go with it. Question number five is what is your go-to all occasion polish? Now if you are new to my channel I will let you in on a little secret. I love the color pink and so my all-time go-to all occasion polish is definitely Flamingo Teeny Pink by OPI. I'm obsessed with this color. It's a blue-based bubblegum pink. Absolutely divine, beautiful, gorgeous, love it. Works on all occasion. Christmas. Halloween, Valentine's Day. I absolutely love this color. Question number six is, what items are essential to your nail care routine? Biotin, I know I talked about this in another tag, I think. My nails were peeling tremendously before I took biotin. Now that I take biotin, I really don't have that much happening as far as peeling. Um, with the drier weather, I'm now seeing some more peeling happening, but I just make sure I keep cuticle oil on and make sure I'm using lots and lots of lotion and staying hydrated and it's okay. Some weeks when I get really, really busy and I skip my taking my biotin, my nails start peeling like crazy, but the second I start taking my biotin again, they regain their strength. So I swear by biotin. Question number seven is what is your favorite newly discovered brand? Mine is definitely a mainstream brand and nothing that's like earth shattering or like, oh my goodness, where did you find this? I am obsessed with Wet n Wild Megalast. I have repeatedly been impressed with this 
brand. The wide paddle brush that they have on this is absolutely phenomenal. And I really, really like the formulas. The formulas have, there've only been like maybe one or two that have really disappointed me in this brand. But for the most part, excellent creams, really fun colors. So I really love their like limited editions. Also super affordable. Like all of these polishes are under $3. So Wet n Wild Mega Last is definitely one that I absolutely love and is becoming one of my favorite mainstream drugstore brands. Question number eight is what is your go-to badass color? Like so many times when I'm asked questions, I always relate them to films and movies because that's how I live through my world. And my first thought was, who do I think is like the most toughest chick I know? And what would she wear on her nails? Honestly, that was how I approached this question. So naturally I went to the three top strongest, toughest chicks that we know in film. That would be Imperator Furiosa from Mad Max, Sarah Connor, from Terminator, Ellen Ripley from Aliens. These three women are the strongest chicks that I know and I absolutely adore them. Amazing, amazing strong female characters. When I thought of this question, I immediately thought, what would they wear? <laughs> and in my mind, they would wear a rockin', amazing, sexy, strong ox blood red. And I have three of probably my favorites in that color scheme. OPI I sing in color so strong and just so like in your face and intense love it wicked from Essie vampy dark brooding but strong and sexy black cherry red very naughty from Essie still really fun um, but not as like dark and vampy as the other two so this kind of ox blood color is definitely my go-to like I'm kicking some major tail right now. I mean business, you better listen to me. Like I love, love, love this color so incredibly much. So question number nine is indie or mainstream? I will have to go with mainstream just because it's easier to get coupons. You can find them for sale at closeout stores, clearances, things like that. So I definitely tend to go more towards mainstream just because my pocketbook likes it a little bit more. <laughs> question number 10, which brands collections do you look forward to the most? I have three answers for this one. First would be China Glaze. I love China Glaze. I love their collections that they come out with, not only because of the colors that they have, but the sheer volume of colors that they have with each collection. It's not just like four bottles, it's like six or 12, which I think is awesome. My second favorite collection to look forward to is actually Orly. This year, Orly has surprised me quite a bit with their collections. Their summer collection was amazing. Their fall collection knocked me off my chair. I absolutely adored and am obsessed with the fall collection from Orly. It is absolutely beautiful. I will link my review of it down below in case you didn't know how I felt about it. And then their holiday collection is also awesome. I'm really, really enjoying it. We'll see what happens next year. And then my third favorite collection that I look forward to the most would be Wet n Wild Mega Last. When they have their limited editions come out, I scour my Walgreens stores until I find it. I am on it because I want it. So those are my answers to the all about polish tag. Now it's your turn. So I'm gonna leave all the questions listed in the description bar down below and I'd like to see your guys' responses. If you have a YouTube channel, please do this video. I would love to see your answers. If you don't have a YouTube channel, go ahead and answer the questions in the comment section down below because I'd be very curious to see what your answers are. That is my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!